Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back if you're not. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to level up the Season 3 Season Pass nice and quickly. You'll be getting about 10 levels per hour here, maximum about 10 hours. I'm sure there's quicker ways that uh, you can figure out how to do this with this method, but this is just roughly what I got, not even really trying. What you're going to need for this is you're going to need Rise of the Angry Earth expansion. You're going to need your tracking plus skinning level up. You're going to need to be able to kill level 60 plus mobs in the new area. You're going to need vials of suspended Azoth. You're going to need tier 5 gear to salvage you're gonna need a one-handed weapon you need a two-handed weapon you're gonna need a magic weapon you need a ranged weapon and you're gonna need the trophy for this season before you do anything in this video I recommend you go through chapter one two and three just to unlock this trophy for season three it will make it so you get a nice little bonus when you collect an XP for this video once you got everything you needed what you're gonna want to do to complete it is you're gonna want to kill ten enemies with two-handed weapon kill ten enemies with one-handed weapon kill ten enemies with magic kill ten enemies with bow or gun kill 10 beasts salvage 5 tier 5 item if you need tier 5 gear i would recommend getting some from a chest run or you could buy it off the trade post. Play two songs, gather from spore pod, gather five resource nodes, gather 500 resources. These are the only things you have to do this season in order to complete it. So once you got everything you needed and you know what you need to do, let me show you where you're gonna have to go. All right, to start this off, you're gonna wanna be at the bull's eye in the new area. Next, you're gonna wanna follow this path to the location that we're gonna start this at. Once you are in this location, you're ready to start your run. This is basically going to be your starting point for the run. For your run, this is not an AFK method like last time. You're not going to stand in one spot. What you're going to want to do is grab this spore pod right here. And this is going to count on your activity card towards the spore pod. Next, you're going to want to kill this lion and the lion behind it. After you kill those two lions, you're going to run up here to this location. And you're going to want to kill this chameleon right here and of course you can skin these as well for your pass that's why you wanted your skinning up and then once you come up there and kill that chameleon you're gonna come back down here to where you started at on your spore pod and you're gonna head over in this location where you came in from you're gonna kill this gorilla in here it'll account for a beast you're gonna want to come in through this wall Kill and skin this line right here. It'll count for resources and also a beast. And then you're going to come back down here. And this is going to be your final mobs that you're going to have to kill. You're going to kill these two beetles. You can also skin these as well. And get more resources for your path. And then you're just going to head back to the beginning once you've killed everything and skinned it all. And you're going to wait here for your respawns, and you're just going to go and do it all again. When you're waiting, you can play your song, you can salvage your resources, and you can also look at your activity card. And with this activity card, the secret to this season is you want the wild stamp. So what we can do is once you have your card stamped up like this, you can start to think of where you can make your lines at. So for example, I can make my lines here. I can make my lines here. I'm gonna need this sword and then I can make my other line here. Oh, never mind, I can do it there. I think I need that sword. So if you don't fuck up your wild card like I almost did, you should be able to finish it off with your stamp. So I only got one wild stamp here, but I'll get the line there, there, give me two more, and then you can finish it off with your stamps. You'll get three more wild stamps and then you can just do that so you're basically trying to finish off your card with your wild stamps don't use them until like you got a couple on here and then finish it off with your stamps that's basically it guys uh, i hope this helps you again it's like 10 10 tiers per hour that's what i was fine i'm sure you guys can make quicker more efficient uh route out of this but i hope this helps you guys i'll talk to you guys next time i'm outie P -p 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 peace